have everything ready. Let the games begin. This is actually my first time playing against a rogue post patch. I've played around 20 games, so I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, maybe aggro rogue. Just keeping the doomsayer against the aggro rogue here. I like the Acolyte too, especially with the Doomsayer, the added synergy. I feel like because he has a coin, he can coin into like Van Cleave coin into three drops, like Shaku, lots of things like that. So it's not necessarily that he always has hero powers turn two. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just going to drop Doomsayer over Ping here. I don't want to be staring down like a Shaku or a Van Cleef into my Acolyte of Pain. Let's see if my stream is starting soon. <laughs> starting in two minutes. Against Rogue, my deck is pretty minion heavy, like a little bit too heavy in some ways. If it's a Miracle Rogue. Give me a quest. Well, good thing he didn't burn his coin here. Although we had the polymorph. Okay, so still just waiting for my stream to start. 60 seconds. Hopefully it works. Three mage spells. Okay. Uh, I like Emperor here it's more than Bran Cabal Courier. I mean, I'm discounting the Bran Courier, so I could even combo that with another Battlecry effect. Cleef. Just a heavy cycle, three mage cards. I'm gonna AI first so that if I get certain battle cries, I can play with Bran. Like, say I get Azure Drake and play Azure Drake here and then save the Bran Courier for next turn. I have the Polymorph, so death is not as good. Having more removal is pretty good, though. Hmm. Let's take this. It's more proactive, and I can... Oh, wow. Raza. Okay. I mean, whatever, it's made sure power, but I like this because I can kit the gadgets and Tomb Pilgers, things like that. He has one more Swash Burglar, it might be bad, but hopefully he doesn't play that first. Uh, I think our stream is live now. Cool. Five minute delay. I wonder. 
Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you. Let's just leave this up and stagger it. Got a, two AoE spells here, Flame Strike and Potion. So it makes more sense for me to just stagger it and leave it up. Ross kind of weak to sap, maybe not too weak, because at least I got the Valkyrie effect off. The Brotherhood shall oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Love the hair. Well, it's sound of delay, but thank you. I've been noticing uh, a, a, still a lot of part wear, but zero aggro shamans. I feel like every shaman that I've played has been uh, mid-range, and shaman in general feels uh, less popular now, a lot less popular, whereas warrior is still pretty popular. I feel like part wear is probably the premier face deck. Shaman, the light protects me. more mid-range, I guess. So this list is designed to fight Druid, like more, more fight against the mid-range stuff more, much better. The end is coming! I'll try it here, I hope he doesn't have flame tongue. Probably does, huh? Okay, we need to kill that before dropping Water Elemental. It doesn't line up too bad against 3-1 and a 5-4, but there's always stuff like a Lightning Bolt and then the, just the Divine Shield, things like that. Azure Drake's partly why I like this play more, because Zacchaeus dies on board, and I have the torch for Azure Drake. That influenced my decision heavily to play this instead of Kazakus. Because I can nuke down the Drake and use the water for the fire for board. Like I say, I didn't have the torch. I guess still the fireball. I probably still would play water until no matter what, but certainly influencing my decision. I feel like I can almost treat this as kind of aggro. If he's running Squire and stuff. I'm gonna take a 5 mana potion here. A 
I like 5-5 five, five more than 5 damage, because if I get the 4 AoE, then, I, then the 5 damage is pointless. Kind of. I get a Doomsayer back. Kazakus, Water Elemental, those are pretty good. That's certainly better than drawing 2 cards. Uh, I, I'm kind of scared of dying to like double law bursts and things like that. If I just play the potion here, because I'm leaving up um, this guy, and then I'm also leaving up the town trog who can overload a lot, so. I hope I don't die here. Okay, I hope it's not my face. Oh, so sick. That was game changing. Uh, we get a stronger minion here, the Acolyte. And plus, it's a really good target for Arena, or really good target for the Manic, right? So yeah, it should be good. All jade decks now. Um, that has not been my experience. Also, this mage has been good against jade. Like my win rate against jade druid is actually pretty good. Uh, I made a video before the you know patch came out about my predictions. It seems like the predictions are pretty good. No one's playing small time buccaneer spear claws. I don't think Reno decks are pushed out of the meta. You just simply adjust your deck to fight jade. Uh, my record against jade druid is actually pretty good right now. Uh, I saw a lot of zoo earlier today, but I don't think it's good. Anyways, this hand is uh, easy to mold and everything, because I wouldn't keep any of these cards against zoo or arena lock, so... This is a good hand against both, kind of. Most of the Blood Mage and Doom Sir is good against... Well, one's good against one, the other one's good against Zoo. Blood Mage is really good to open against Reno Lock. A lot of cards here. Um, if I play Doomsayer, you can't really tap that easily. Opens myself to Dirty Rat in some ways.
kind of like earlier rather than later and for that and also saving the frost bolt to try to have 15 damage against Draxus. This is going to be a cool curve here. I might want to save uh, Firelands Portal after Mediv with Solia. Well, there's not much development we can do here, so... Like, if we kill the Doomsayer, then... We're not developing anything else. Rather save the burn. Funnel cakes! Get your funnel cakes here! Shields up! There is some minor anti synergy with Mediv. Although the Fireball and the Frost Bolt is more, more like to save. It's mostly the Firelands Portal and Flame Strike mm. and Blizzard in this deck, as well as the potions for Medivh. Since I I don't think I should play too much into the Medivh here, because uh, it's actually pretty likely that it just gets oozed, right, in this matchup. Oh. And Reno Lock has a hard time fighting for tempo against Mage. I will probably have to burn a frost bolt here. At least some burn damage. Against Draxus, but you know, we have the fireball and we still have Antonitis to pick up some more burn. <laughs> Based on a chat, <laughs> the last game just ended. Let's get our two drop here, actually. Because we might get ooze. Plus, we only have one. Like, as far as high mana spells go, that we don't have very many in our deck. Oh, that works. Right, like we only have a flame strike and a blizzard left. There's only two big spells. Yeah, that's what I thought. Interesting. Uh 
start threatening to cycle in our torch. Plus, I think we want to save the um, arcane blast for Antonidas. It's much easier to combo that with Antonidas. I don't think we ping the two two because most likely thing that happens here is the Bessel Enforcer. So many possibilities. She didn't trade in even. Okay. And then we tort we forbidden flame the Bessel Enforcer, almost certainly. We can actually. He's already used more coal, right? So something else we can do is just play the Savannah and, and ping his face. Create some tension here. Because he can't do the one damage. Like, he can't kill the 6-1 after easily. I have no time for games. I hope I don't get Spellbreaker, because at that point I would need to like flame strike and kill a 6-2, whereas I would like ping it to 6-5 so I can flame strike ping, but I can't ping it to 6-5 because of Savannah's play, right? Because then you can just trade in. Uh, so yeah, I didn't really have that option. <clears throat> Who knows what secrets will uncover at last? He only has three mana left. He might have to take some cheap potions here. Or risk dying. Fireball, 6, 7, 13. I actually don't have lethal. Well, I guess he's killing my guy with the tap. Yeah, that makes sense. I should probably say the flame strike because he can like resurrect and, and stuff, right? Uh... Oh, that's a lot of damage. I don't think it's worth the Forbidden Flame that. Considering Hellfire and Abyssal of Forcer have already been played, so he can't trade in the 3 3 for the 4 4 and AoE. I mean, he has two, he has potions too, which I'm assuming is enough to deal with my board, anyways. He has 15. I have um, 15 on board, or 15. The original list that I had here, like the one I posted on YouTube before the expansion came out, I didn't have Ooze. The only difference I made was I took out the Frost Nova for Ooze. I noticed that there's still a lot of Warriors, that's why, and I was having a hard time dealing with, the, like, having high enough win rate against Pirate Warrior without the Ooze. So I took out the Frost Nova to add it back in.
I like Doomsayer here because if I wait till turn four for him, like this is turn three, if I wait till turn four, he can cork run elite. So if I ping here, then he drops a three drop, then I drop Doomsayer, then he can cork on it, right? It's not gonna be safe anymore. All the weapons. This is good hand. I have Ice Block Reno. I have Sylvanas. I mean, I should be fine. Probably get the 29 points of healing this game with Ice Block. Do I ever die next turn? So I play Sylvanas, he has... He needs six more damage to kill me. I like this more now. Especially with the flame strike. Sylvanas so is just a fight for board, right? But fighting for board doesn't matter as much if you have the flame strike. I hope I don't get popped here. And I play as safe as possible. I even kill the 1-1. One -one. If he pops down at the Reno, get less value. Alright, base, I'm taking a lot of post Reno damage. But if it doesn't pop my ice block, I can just go in Flame Strike. Because it's never going to kill me. No Ink Master top deck. <laughs> Ink Master Flame Strike is pretty cool. Alright, hit me. I have the water mental. I mean, he's almost out of weapons, though. But yeah, I don't think I'm getting the water mental up in time to influence the game too much. Still gonna have the Reno here. I'm aiming for a top 20 this season. If I just shoot straight up to like rank 10, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just call it, go like plan E or something. Okay, so this is certainly an interesting mulligan, because this is definitely new. You wouldn't do this pre-patch, but I believe since people are playing mid-range more than aggro now, uh, against mid-range shaman, it's like really important to hit a strong mid-game, kind of like druid. Like, I like keeping high mana curve against druid. Like, I love keeping four to six drops against druid a lot, um, and it should be very similar in this matchup. The minions aren't as good in this matchup because of hex, but the draw is extra good. Um, So yeah, yeah, it looks like it paid off. He's not an aggro. Oh wow, what a weird line. Because Kazak is actually amazing here based on the body. He has two mana left. Probably has flame tongue.
perhaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They'll go nine. Okay, if we AI, we can't play Kazakus, I believe. I'm gonna take five mana potion here. Yeah, the thing is, if I, hey, I would go to nine cards, ten cards at the beginning of my next turn, then I play Kazakus, so I'll have ten cards again because it gives me a potion so that like coin something or burn the coin uh so yeah i mean probably plus flame tongue it's fine it still kills one of them and against the flame tongue i have a good default play which is arcane blast ping Now if he plays Drake, I can Kazakus Potion, I can summon a 5-5, five, five, like a Firelands Portal. That's pretty good. It's like a 5-mana Firelands Portal, basically. Trog's scary, not like not the best target, but it's a, it's a tro trog sort of. It's I have a lot of single target removal right now. Okay, so he's aggro shaman, but just kind of a different kind of aggro shaman, right? I can do a full clear here. The question is if I want to do a full clear here. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to ooze, right, instead of ping. Because the weapon's only worth two damage. And the, the two one is two damage as well. Get develop those, but then it hey, does, does it make sense? I feel like he can use bigger stuff. It's not like I don't. I don't think his mana curve is that low. He's even though he's running a horse rider, I could see him running like Ragnaros and stuff. Because it just doesn't seem like he's like that. A super aggro deck. But yeah, I'm pretty close to dying, especially when he's running burn. I don't have any of my defensive stuff. I mean, I have much less defensive stuff in this deck. We want a Mac first, so we don't want any of these cards. It only cost my soul. Engaging TC We want to draw other cards like Reno. Courier would be a nice draw too. Ice block.
Okay, so he's an aggro shaman. It's a good, uh, certainly good top here. I like that more. I like this more than Archmage Frostbolt. Because I get the taunt. I could just Flame Strike trade in, or I could have. Uh, Firelands trade trade trade. Interesting. I'm actually very close to dying, I think. The light protects me. Well, some for some reason I think we're dead. But anyways, let's just uh, set up two turn lethal. It's the best we can do. Does it matter to freeze his face? I guess probably not, but... Like, he is an aggro deck. He's not a mid-range at all, and based on the fact he missed so much curve, these cards are likely lava bursts and stuff. That's why I think we're dead, but we'll see. One day, I'll be a real knight. Nice. He just... I don't know. I've been seeing some Tempo Mages, although against Tempo Mage, uh... Who knows? I, I think Ice Block is more important than Reno against Tempo Mage, though. Because you have the Reno at like 15 against Tempo Mage if you don't have Ice Block.
Nice, nice, nice. Sorry, I, I was I, I needed to figure out something. I'm trying to figure out what to stop at. I like I'm talking to some people, asking them. We're actually getting a point where I'm not sure what to do if I'm trying to go for points. I'll see after this game what happens. That's a lot of card draw. Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator! I can play 2-3 attack minions to trade. I think I like that more than any other play here. Although at some point he might be running Medivh. We don't know how the new meta looks. We both use our ooze though. Our hand's very minion heavy. That's probably pretty good. We have to kill this already with Polymorph. So I don't like dirty riding here, because if I pull something, I, I don't know if I can kill what I need to kill. Let's see if I get something else here. Volcanic, that's... Not that, uh, when, well, it's almost really good. Interesting. I, I still think we have the Volcanic here, actually. Just to clear the board. Polymorph is worth too much, especially since he's setting up for Antonidas. And he can do stuff like Antonidas Frostball, Antonidas Frost Nova, or, you know, kill my guy. So I can't threaten to kill Antonidas with the Water Mental and the Volcanic Potion, but I can with Polymorph. Plus, Polymorph allows me to play Dirty Rat. Although I'd rather have some more options with that, but. Oh, I didn't get the Rat before I played his combo. Hopefully, he doesn't have. Manic Soul Caster. That'd be a really good hand. Like it's I've never seen this happen before in my life. Or they have Emperor in the full full combo, like immediately. Gonna leave a brand. It's unlikely as courier. 
because he would have had it for two mana with Emperor. And he played the book as well. He definitely doesn't have Max Soulcaster once he top decks it. I wonder. Azure Drake is the most likely spell power or battle cry punish. You want it? I got it. But I have to um like fireball brand, so Does that change how I play? Because the problem is, this game, since I drew more cards than him, I'm all in. So partly it's like I'm not I'm not too comfortable playing Doomsayer because I feel like uh I feel like I need to have Bran Kazakis, Mag Soulcaster, and Resurrect and stuff. I'm trying to see how I can win now. Interesting.
I feel like this deck should be pretty good in Reno Mage Mirror, actually. Medivh versus Jaina. You ask for it. Let the games begin. So he's running Conjurer. Um, anything else special? I don't think so. I think this is a pretty good hand. Like These are the type of cards you want in this matchup, but I have a lot of them, so we'll have to see. Maybe Burn Coin on turn two, because I have so many three drops right now. Random mage spell or random potion. I have brand too, so uh, it's kind of easier for me to combo with babbling book. Chemist gives me like a four drop play though. I like this because the body is bigger as well. I'm not guaranteed anything with the brand. Like, I might have to play with other stuff. I might not be playing Brankazakis for a while until I pick up Manic Soulcaster. And Cabal Chemist gives me plays that I can make until that point much better. That's one of the good ones. Dragonfire, Fellfire, probably the two best potions. Shiny. So it's seven, I think I'm not sure. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, with I'm just gonna trade this off, suicide him off. to hand size issues. We're just gonna keep a high value hand. It's not like we dragon fire there and we can save the blood mage blast for Antonidas or anything like that. I think we just keep the highest value hand. Oh, my God. 
Alright, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna develop into this Drake instead of killing it. Because killing it's hard. I, I can't really, like, torch an AI. I have too many cards in my hand. Uh, I have the full combo, Brand, Kazakus, Max, Soulcaster. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can't play with Torch next turn, unfortunately, but it's still going to be really good. Uh, keep in mind that this will unactivate our Reno, so we're going to have a window until we draw our, sec our Kazakus, so we're going to be weak. Um, let's see if we get Dirty Rad this turn or something. Well, we'll have to see. This is a very big turn because we lost this guy, which is huge. But he lost. We'll see what he does. Okay. So we have Brand Kazakis, and he doesn't anymore. He lost his Brand. Okay, I think it's okay for us. I feel like we get more potion value than him because he uses Bran for Dirty Rat uh, and only pulled our Manic. So he can, I guess he can go Kazakus Manic and still have two, but then he, you know, it's still close. He pulled our Manic Soulcaster, right? We're at 15 and 17 if we eye, so I guess I have to decide. Because we don't have the Manic, so we lose the Fatigue War in, in some sense, because uh, it doesn't shuffle back into our deck. So I feel like we're all inning him. I think we take the three demons too, because we might get Doomsayer from our Kazakus potion. What we want to do is want to play as many minions as possible, so it doesn't happen.
He has two fireballs. Hmm. So we need to get our ice block. Unless these help. Begin. We shouldn't rat here, although I think rat is less dangerous against mid-range because they don't run flame wreath faces as much, but... I think this is better because I can get the AoE potions, which are really good in this matchup. The 4-3, let's see, it's, I guess it's weak dex, but not really. If you hex that, it's fine. I guess the main thing about the 4-3 is that um, that can get jade cards, and jade cards aren't good for me. So he has two mana left, and he's probably playing aggro shaman. I'm thinking of Dirty Rat Doomsayer, although that's unlikely to go off. Interesting. Let's do this, just absorb some damage. It's he needs some more to kill, and if he plays Flame Tongue to kill, I can Volcanic and Ping. Looks pretty good. It's not like perfect against Flame Tongue, but it's it's pretty good. Okay. That's really good for me then. Potion of mana. So I guess we're saving Kazakus or 10 mana potion a lot of times. I don't know how fast this deck is. I mean, usually if we're running Feral Spirits, it's an aggro deck, but you know, he, just, he didn't have an aggro opening, so. I mean, I, w I want to save these with uh, the AoE. Hmm. I feel like this is the right move. Uh, it just enables our tr board to trade much better.
perhaps. At last, a worthy disciple. So I guess because the three one's so much threat right now, I don't want to play Solanus here and trade in to the two three because he can trade the one one in for my three one, and then he can hex, right? So it's like I don't I don't really want to play Gazakus this turn, but it, it's it's good still. And I don't really want to play Dirty Rock because I want to combo that with AOE. Water Boy, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Here's a crowfist. Alright, uh, we can MC tech his brand. I mean, Potion of Madness is brand. Unfortunately, play Kazaka, sorry, but we can rat him after. That's all. Okay, so I'm volcanic in here. Uh, try it off the brand. His entire hand is spells, that means these four probably has hex somewhere. This is what you top decked. If I get the bear some hexes, this potion summons an 8 8 as well. I'm, not, I'm still not going to use the potion until uh, he at least plays something there, like Jade Cards. I'm going to play slow because he simply cannot overwhelm me with minions, uh, right? Like, it makes more sense for me not to play the Wire Mental here because I know these three cards are all spells, like Lightning Storm and stuff, so it's not like if I don't do anything he can pressure me a lot by playing a lot of minions because he just doesn't have any minions in his hand. But he has to play them through top decks one at a time. It didn't change. Okay, because zero drops never change. That was kind of good for me, huh? Begin. I pretty much like keeping all all removal against Rogue and as little minions as possible. 
only minions that cycle into other minions, or only minions that draw, basically. This is so much weaker than the old Buccaneer opening, because it does dies the ping. So he has a 3 drop here. He probably has shotgun in his hand. Maybe SI, I don't know how that would work. Oh, okay, interesting. He's playing Stealth Rogue. Some kind of aggro rogue here. Let's flame this so that we can torch ping the 4 1 next turn. I can't drop uh, Drake into this. If I don't have a torch target and MC attack ping next turn. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. So against this, I'm the MC attack ping. Okay, so it does 6 damage to me here. Actually, it does a little bit less. Backstab didn't have spell power. So I'm at 14. I should be able to Blizzard into Flame Strike here. Because I, I don't want to play. I don't want to give him the Finger Draw. Deck also might bring Shadow Staff, but um, don't think it Shadow Staff's Finja. We'll see. I mean, if it Shadow Staff's Finja, it doesn't matter, right? I'm just trying to count as Burst. Ah, I should still Flame Strike. I should be fine. Leroy's 5 mana. Shadow Step. Okay, so I could die to Leroy Shadow Step on turn 8, because it's 5 and then 3. That's 13 exactly. But, you know. Oh well. Interesting. I don't see something better. I have flame strike after the finjo, but that just makes another turn right at the flame strike instead of play Reno. I was thinking like dirty rat. Forgotten Torch or something. I think my win rate this game is absurdly high, so I sh I don't think I was like thinking very close between like Firelands Portal or Azure Drake Torch and just risk dying one more turn. But I feel like I'm in such a good shape that um, I shouldn't be doing that play. Ha, this guy's toast. Reno can trade with. Oh, let's see what he does. Okay. So that's six less damage when he gets Leroy too. He's trying to fight for board right now. It's like kind of working. If I get one more removal spell. Oh, nice. That's actually perfect.
Uh, Grey Knights, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Here's a crow fist. Alright, I'm still 25 and you burned one shaft step for his Leroy. I can just brand Drake now. This should give me enough stuff to win the game with. Actually, let's. Let's see, there's a strong. There's more stuff on board. Plus, I could develop water until which is kind of slow. Start freezing his weapon. Okay. <laughs> I wonder how he's gonna win. Back to 24 again. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. Be right back. Alright, we're back. I need to turn off my TV. But from, yeah, what I've noticed, like, there's a lot more creative aggro decks right now. Um, and I think the correct way to build Reno decks post patch is to make it pretty greedy. It's just the meta has like shifted a little bit more towards mid range as like the strongest type archetype. I've played him like five times today. It's always playing some kind of different aggro deck. Let the game like it's playing Zoo and now it's playing uh, Part Warrior. Uh oh. Well, I have Reno. This is kind of worrisome. I guess Fireball's not that bad since it kills Frothing Berserker. And Frothing Berserker becomes extra high threat when you have Reno. Like, because Reno can deal with a lot of, like, the little chip damage, but one thing that Reno cannot deal with is Frothing Berserker if it grows too much, right? It's like, you can't really leave up a Frothing and play Reno. This is huge. Let's see what he gets here. Definitely good for me. It's one of the bad hero powers here. It could mean that he has a hard time developing weapon synergy. But it's certainly like better for me than Steady Shot and um, 
life tap. I took that with Nazoth's first mate in his hand. He's flooding me. I can't play a 3-drop here with Coining with two 3-drops. I need to save Coin for Reno as well as um, Frothing Berserker. If I coin a 3-drop, then he Frothings and trades. I can't Fireball it. The real question is what I do if he Frothings this turn. Because Coin Fireball delays my Reno. What now? We're actually looking for plays in the next turn. I'm okay with this. I was thinking about Corkron, but now with the ooze, it's not as bad for me, the Corkron. This still absorbs four, whereas Cabal, he doesn't have to charge a Corcoran into the Cabal Courier. He would just trade like a 1-1 one -one in his dagger in for the Courier. So if he Corcorans, I'm just going to ooze ping the Corcoran. Uh, still not the best ooze, but at least it develops the minion that turn. What now? Like, it is really is better save for Arcanine Reaper at this point, but if he's Corcorans, I still need a ping and I still need to spend my two mana, so... There's no way he trades the other way for Bran, right? That doesn't make any sense. Really? Wow, I just I got the volcanic. <laughs> I mean, still though, that's so weird. Oh, whatever. I, I, I don't know. I can't see that being right. Like, I literally can't see it being right. Well, he never burst me for 11, so I can just Volcanic clear this. I get the best of both worlds now, because I can, um... I can still lose the Arcanine Reaper late game, and I never die here before renewing. I don't think he even has the Reaper in his hand, or he would have Reaper upgraded. But any, regardless, uh, let's ooze here. I have so many different high threat units. I'm just gonna play Courier over um, Acolyte. One more game. If we win, we're, we're gonna camp. <laughs> oh man, 14. Wish I, I, I almost think I should camp, but whatever. We'll play one more, because it's only 5.30. I have six and a half hours to play. So if I camp now and then I drop below 25, yeah, I should go to like top. One more, one more, we'll see. Do you win more if you stream and delay? I think so, but I mean, I, I've only streamed a a couple times in my life, so I definitely don't have stats to say I do or don't. Like, I don't know. Uh, much more worrisome hand. I don't have Reno this hand. Last game I had a bad hand, but at least I had Reno. This game I have a bad hand, and just bad.
Maybe we just yellow a dirty rat. Dirty rat's good late game though, because he runs out of minions. Maybe he has patches. Oh, he has patches. That's what if I just dirty rat's patches now? He does run bigger minions, I think. I I don't know. Let's let's dirty rat here. Ah, it's so weird. I drew Kazakus. For dirt rat frothing. Hmm. The thing is, it's not just about tempo, right? Because whatever our dirt rat's probably not beating the dirty rat, but the point is, I can wait till like turn eight or late game, and then dirty rat nothing. That's the main thing. I can still ping this. I feel like I would have dirty right here if I didn't draw Kazakus, because I would I would have felt comfortable taking the risk more so. But with the Kazakus, I feel like um, and the fact that he has patches in his hand, patches in his hand is a reason to dirty rat. But I it's, I just feel because I have the Kazakus here too. Not played, be thirsty. That's not super th threatening. For the Manic, right? Because if he trades this in, I can just ping it. He has to kill it. And if he does kill it like this, we can Polymorph it. I might take three damage here. Next turn, probably Kazak is for one mana potion, especially if he plays Corcoran. Try to kill that Corcoran with that 3 damage. Or AoE now. He has patches too in his hand. Probably I flying it. All we need is a 1 damage AoE here. And we'll be able to taunt with 30 Wrath soon. As he runs out of minions. Okay. Two damage is way better than... Uh, Draw cards better. Two damage better and four life, because I'm killing all this. I still have a 3-1, so I can still contest this next minion, and I have the torch. If I didn't have the torch or the 3-1, I could consider taking the 2-2. Two -two. But I think drawing is better, because I can draw into Reno and stuff and block. Okay. Uh, let's do a wrap first here, so we can see what he has. Okay, good. Now we... I think we play this more in AI. Although, if I want to draw Reno... Most of the stuff, like Mage, Priest, Royal Cards, most of the time, I can play it immediately, right, with the, with the four mana left over. Whereas with AI, I need to draw Rena right away. All useless cards. This is never useful. Confused me sometimes useful. I can't see myself ever playing Cryomancer when I have other minions that do the same, like Emperor and Ink Master. Worst Confused, maybe. Because it's cheaper, it's easier to fit in. Like I can Confuse my Acolyte and do more damage or something. Well, no point playing around Moral Strike anymore. I'm dying anyways to Moral Strike. 
Do I have lethal here? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fireball, Frostle in hand is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I don't have lethal here. Oh, GG. <laughs> Four. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. I'm climbing so fast. It's ridiculous. Okay. Oops, too late. Now what? Maybe arena time? <laughs>